we have an office and grants management state clearinghouse that was never ever included in these decision making process which also violates commonwealth law and when you violate commonwealth law you violate federal laws and that is where the internal audit that will happen on this from the federal government will come down hard did you follow local law and local regulations the answer will be no several were violated what do you think the federal government will do at that point let me tell you what they will do they will do what they've done in the past they will do an investigation on this. They will find things wrong with it. And then they will say the CMI must pay the $17 million back. And who's going to be on the hook, sir? It's not going to be you and your two panelists. It will be our taxpayers who have to pay that money back. This is a very serious matter. This is not something to be taken lightly. There is tons of proof that this was not done in a right manner, and that there is possibly fraud committed. I have seen enough today. I don't have any more questions for you because there are no questions that you will answer that will satisfy me or my colleagues at this point. What I do know is that I've looked at this list and even the very first time I looked at it, I could see connections simply by looking at it. And then we took a little dive into it. And we're not even investigators. Making phone calls to the registrar and looking at who owns these companies and putting the ties together. When one million is initiative, when I brought that up, and you couldn't recall many things about that, yet it was given $250,000, this nonprofit that somehow skipped the line of nonprofits that existed in the CMI for decades but they somehow skipped the line. That's not fairness, sir. You're talking about a company that two thirds of the company are not even residing here. They reside in Guam. It was just incorporated in, in the latter part of 2022, but it didn't receive $5,000 or $10,000 received $250,000 and we still don't know exactly what it does and how the Commonwealth will somehow benefit from that. I don't have any questions for you, sir. I just am frustrated at this point that the, we've had to deliberate and discuss and ask questions and we've gotten nowhere with the answers. I yield.